In this week, we're in Philippians 2, 1 through 11, where Paul is going to shift his talking point to really focus on the way that Jesus's character, what he did, how he handled himself, influences the way that we interact with each other and the world. The main idea here is humility. The sense in which, though Jesus was God himself, the creator, he humbled himself, taking on a human body, becoming creation, to go to the cross on our behalf. And if we've got a God that does that for us, how easy should it be for us to demonstrate that same kind of humility? In Philippians 2, verse 4, he gets really practical about it. And he says, look not only to your own interests, but to the interests of others as well. This is not a program for being nosy, you know, and sticking your, your, your attention in a bunch of other people's business, but, but, but of looking for ways to serve one another. One of the ways that, that Jesus serves us is by being the living water. And he cares for us and he hydrates us and he, and, and he gives just so marvelously to us. And I can only imagine that in the context of a Roman prison where Paul found himself, water was probably at a commodity. And so the act of taking what little water you have and, and, and being that water and, and, and being the kind of person that would pour out that water like Jesus would pour out that water it is that looking to others' interests and, and caring for them and, and using our, our resources and using our abilities and using what we have at our disposal to care significantly. I think when it comes down to it, the Christian life is one that, that doesn't seek the personal ego that doesn't seek the personal comfort, but one that, that sees the example of Jesus Christ. And even in a context like this, e even locked up, even in hard times, finds a, a means and a method of rejoicing in giving that which other people need. And the amazing thing is, is we've got stories of this. Jesus in his ministry, of all the people that he points out publicly, one of them is a woman near the temple grounds. You've got people walking by giving huge gifts and, and seeking acclaim for that. They're giving their tithes, they're giving their offering and their sacrifice, and it, it's luxury and it's abundance and, and everyone's ooing and aahing. But there's this one woman who comes over and she's got two small coins, similar to pennies. And she puts both of those in there. And Jesus says, look at that. He calls his disciples together and he says, she gave sacrificially. That is love. That is giving. And I would go so far to say that that woman exemplified what Paul is getting at in Philippians 2, looking not only to our own interests, but to the interests of others, the giving and sacrifice. Paul himself was the recipient of this. The Philippians had cared for him in his imprisonment. And now he is in turn encouraging them to do even more and encouraging all of the other churches around to follow the Philippian example in giving sacrificially. What an amazing thing to think, that we're not actually the point. The point is the gospel. The point is our God, who so graciously gives to us that we might pour out ourselves to others.